I have no idea if there's a name for these twin rocks out in the Strait of Juan de Fuca, but they stand there like a giant testimony to the power of stone standing against the inexorable pounding of the sea. Well friends, this is Highway 112. We slipped off of the 101 because we want to go out to Cape Flattery. Cape Flattery is the westernmost point of the continental United States. And we wanted to go out there and see that. That's out right next to Nia Bay on the Macaw Indian Reservation. For now, Papa Dale, check it out! We are entering the little town of Clallam Bay, which is on Clallam Bay, which is on the Strait of Juan de Fuca. I'm going to tell you that stretch of, of Highway 112 coming from Joyce to the 113 cutoff about uh, five miles before Clallam Bay is one tough piece of roadway. It is windy and it is up and down like a roller coaster but it is also bumpy in between the ups and the downs of the roller coaster it's enough bumpy that the whole RV unless I unless I went about 25 miles an hour the whole RV would would be pitching and yawning just like a boat in a storm. So I, uh, I recommend if you come this way and you go Highway 112, which is the only way you can go really from Port Angeles, that you be prepared to have a long drive and that you be prepared to have a slow drive. Recommended speed 25 miles an hour. Papa Dale checking out. On the road from Liar River Campground to Nia Bay. On the roller coaster Highway 112. And this just happens to be one of the scenic spots Bandit and I found. I have no idea if there's a name for these twin rocks out in the Strait of Juan de Fuca, but they stand there like a giant testimony to the power of stone standing against the inexorable 
pounding of the sea. Well, friends, we are now arriving at the town of Nia Bay. And look at the Native American statues there. And that is the Macaw Tribe Museum over there. And this is Nia Bay. Beautiful bay. They catch a lot of salmon here and other fish too, I presume. That uh, mountain ridge over there is uh, the last Olympic Peninsula mountains before you get to the Pacific Ocean. Cape Flattery is on the other side of that. Cape Flattery is the uh, farthest westernmost point on the lower 48 states. I can't remember exactly what this little valley here is called. It's flat, but it's not very broad. And there's a river that comes down the middle of it, comes out of the mountains from our left and feeds the river that goes down towards Nia Bay. But I, I think it's called Waatch or something like that. W-A-A-T-C-H maybe. I'll look it up later and let you know in the subtitles. But uh, I'll tell you something, it's a pretty little valley. Looks quite fertile. Doesn't look like anybody farms anything there or anything. Looks like it's mostly wetlands. <laughs> here we are friends it's Papa Dale and the bandit come here bandit say hi to everybody sit can you say hi say hi hi everybody I'm the bandit but there's some new dogs here and I want to go play okay good enough come on let's go out here and look at this beach this is the uh, Hoback Beach RV Park. Here's a here's a little 360 of this campground. Pretty nice. There seems to be plenty of room in between the RV spaces. There's bandit in my rig there. A few other folks here. It's not full. I'm told that the cabins are totally full. But it's pretty. It's a pretty place. Okay, well, we just got here. So we got to uh, take advantage of the full service, hook up the water and the power and the sewer as long as we're paying for it we may as well take advantage of it <laughs> papa dale check it out awesome about uh 6.30, 7 o'clock in the evening. Boy, those, uh, those rocky outcroppings sure look inviting over there. Looks like somebody ought to go over and explore them. Okay, I guess it's going to be me. <laughs> Come on, bandit. Boy, I'm sure glad I've got these waterproof shoes. Woohoo! Just kind of dusk. Starting to get a little bit dark.
Look at this giant rock here. Wow. See if we can go up here a little bit without hurting myself. Well, let's go up here. This is pretty interesting. Climbing along these stones. Wow. And probably the part I'm happiest about is it's not slippery at all. It's very solid footing. Or I wouldn't be doing it. What a very, very interesting rock formation. A place to walk. Wow. This is really cool. Oh my goodness. Woo. Wow! Awesome! Awesome. Woohoo. Well, that was really interesting.